Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. My Discord. By the way, do I pronounce Discord wrong? Discord. Discord? Discord. Discord? Discord? Let me know in comments below. For some reason, I don't know. It doesn't matter, but today I received a plethora. Okay, plethora is a little exaggerating. I received two or three DMs because the video is just extremely new. And uh, I almost clicked on it, but I saw it was a War Thunder official trailer or up an official teaser for the new upcoming update direct hit. And I saw the thumbnail and that's it. I have, we're gonna watch it. it we're gonna watch it together and share my genuine reaction uh, to everything, okay? The trailer's in the description below, or teaser, if you want to watch it without any of my commentary, any of my stop, and oh my gosh, just a nice clean watch, down description below, but here we go with moi. Can we have those sound bites in the game? Oh, take the shot! Oh! All those T series are dead. Dead. Requesting cash? Yes. Yes, this is it. They're closed in. They need cash. Guys, call it in. 30 mil, equal 30 millimeter barrage in three. SU-24? SU-24? MiG-27s? MiG-27s? What? The oh! Oh, boys! Fox 2? Okay, um, so here we are. This is not an SU-25, nor it's the A-10. Listen, this is like a road trip here, okay? Now, at this stage of the road trip, we're almost there, okay? It's like when you were a kid and you were heading to the beach and you were watching SpongeBob and you still had 30 minutes to go, but you knew one SpongeBob episode would get you, like, in the beach area in about, uh, you would only have eight minutes left. This is where we're at right now. I, I don't know if that made too much sense, but uh, soon TM. We have 30 mil, look at this. This is the first exterior 30 millimeter GAT, I guess we're gonna call it. All the other GATs that we have in game or in clothes, this is the first one that we have exposed. Now they said this was the MiG-27? I think. You can tell it's MIG. I, I said SU-24. You can tell it's MIG because of that, that cut-in right there, though. What is that? MIG-27s. So this is what I originally thought it was. This is the SU-24, which is a supersonic all-weather attack aircraft. You can see how it's pretty darn close, but this is a tandem seat or a dual seat. MiG-27. Now, I really don't... Okay, this is the MiG-27. 
27. Good gosh. Look at that. It's kind of got the Jaguar gear lay. Well, it's got the MiG-23 as well. But look at this girthy gear here. I got to be honest, guys. Even with watching Wings of Russia, I maybe missed this during the um, during the documentary. But we have a 30 millimeter gat on this. Is it supersonic? It has to be supersonic. They, they, they wouldn't put swept wings on there. Yeah. Boom. Mach 1.09 at sea level. Okay. So, does it carry one 30 millimeter? Oh, my Lord. Okay, so this is this is the this is the uh, it's, it's a it's a gish, it's still in use. Okay, it fires a thirty by one sixty five millimeter projectile. Let's go to the A ten here. So with the A ten, the Gao eight, the the Gao shoots a projectile. It looks a teeny bit longer than what we're gonna have on the Mig twenty seven. Now, if we can find like uh, some penetration values for this. The weapon system also dealt extensive collateral damage as the sheer number of fragments from detonating shells was sufficient to damage aircraft flying within a 200 meter radius from impact, including the aircraft firing. What? The weapon also dealt extensive collateral damage as the sheer number of fragments from the detonating shells was sufficient to damage aircraft flying with a 200 meter radius from the impact center, including the aircraft firing. So if you got too close to this thing, that the shells detonated on the ground uh, would uh, would would kill you. So so this so, so this is the MiG 27 flogger mounted. Ooh, what what's this word? So I don't I don't, I don't really know what this word means, but I think it means like center of the entire aircraft to to help reduce recoil. Look at this thing. Look, we got uh, some heat rockets. We got bombs. This thing's this thing is laced out. And what are these things? Are these the the, the Russian like AGMs? It's carrying four of these. Oh my gosh! Can we? Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Five bombs. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And there's the gal, or, <clears throat> the 30 millimeter right there. This thing's a host. If this thing has ballistic computer, um, this is going to be an aircraft that I can probably, if, if you can keep it alive, it's hard to keep these things alive at top tier, but one, two, three, I would say, I don't know, these are like 500 kilogram bombs. This, this is an easy three kill aircraft before you can probably get shot down. Even more if you can stay alive with this. Beautiful. Big bombs. Maybe they're a thousand. So the Russians are going to be probably this weapon system they're getting for the MiG-27 is the, probably the AGM 65B that we have in game, which you can zoom in and target from like 10 kilometers away and the round will naturally fall on the target. I wonder if this one just has a little bit more bread and butter, though. This this one looks a lot bigger than the AGM or maybe it's just. I don't know. The, the Russians' missiles like to go fast, so we're, we're going to wait and see for that. But I think those are already in game. I really haven't made a video on them. Yo, retreat! Retreat, Sweden! Call, call in the Viggen! J8. J, I think it's J837. <laughs> I know so many people that would would marry the Saab Viggen. The Tuffle Duck. This is a retired Swedish single. These things have um, JA-37 I think I might be able to make a friend offs. with the German Churchill. Yes. Yes. The landings are more impressive, though. Oh. No parachute? 
Oh my gosh. Reverse thrust. So that's how they do it. They don't use a parachute. They just use reverse thruster. The Swedish love the reversers. That thing landed like it was a, like a, a twin engine. But, um, but anyways, can we talk about this missile load out here? Now, is this thing strictly a fighter? Okay, so it is single seat, single engine, short, medium range combat. And we're rolling with... Okay, a 30 millimeter. Yep, mm-hmm. Uh, six missiles... So unfortunately, I don't know, maybe there's maybe there's a different variant, but there's no there's no ground striking abilities other than I don't know, what's this like a like a electronic countermeasure pod? What's the AIM 120? Holy crap, it's beyond visual range. Ha ha ha! AIM 9 Sidewinder. What is the sky flash? Whoa! Semi-active radar homing. It's air to air though. It's not like uh, like a harm. Okay, but what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six missiles on it. This thing is an air-to-air -air monster, especially in ground RB, and I'm sure this thing's going to have some top-quality missiles. Uh, the skies will be safe with this. Just unfortunate we couldn't just, you know, have some little, uh, little bombs on it. But maybe there's a variant. Let's see if we can't pick apart anything else in this. Oh, my Lanta. The canards are just gorgeous. Now, I believe the canards were not were added not only for maneuverability, but to just bring up the AOA extreme for uh, short, short field, short road takeoffs. Got countermeasures. That's good. Sorry, I, I, I just have to go see that scene. It's going to be a little blurry because there's, oh, my gosh. Look at that thing. Look at that spine it has. Mm. Okay, so he only launched one missile, so no like new system or anything like that. Not not like top top gun or ace combat, excuse me. So this is this is a this is definitely a teaser. There's maybe I'm missing something with the tanks. Reverse speed isn't that fast. Ooh, what's this? Scout beam. I don't I don't know. I haven't seen that one. Is that that's newish? It's, it's not the object 285. Yo, how do these Swedish sneaky boys get over here open field like this? Yeah, she's gonna be pearly. I think I'm more excited. I think I'm more excited for the Vigid. Oh my gosh. And and I'll uh I'll tell you why. The the MiG-23, once someone gets on your six and you're not so like Think of so I, I know it's the MiG-27, but the MiG-23. If, if you're if you're not fast, uh, you're probably just going to get a race. You're not turning. You're not really doing any dogfighting. Apparently, there was like some like trick where you just put all the wings out and then you like got away with it. But I'm actually more excited for the um, the Vigan. But like, okay, I'm very excited about the uh, 30 millimeter and the bombs 
on the 27. I'm more excited about the weapon system this guy has, but I'm more excited about the aircraft that the Vigan is. Guys, there are so many more aircraft in this era um, that were prototype, went into like went into testing production, and uh, didn't make it, and did make it. There's so many aircraft like this. Hmm. You better turn that afterburner off. You better turn that afterburner. Those are some meaty flares, aren't they? Shout out to the guy, the War Thunder feller who made this. Yeah, this thing's not shaking this thing whatsoever. Look at this thing. This is a wing. This is a wing with a small brother wing. But very excited. Direct hit, though. Like, what else would be at it called direct hit? Do we get S-225? I don't think so. I, I think this is, a, this, is, this is a teaser for the Su-25. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll keep you updated on the new War Thunder uh, <laughs> birds coming in. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.